Today I'm going to attempt to make something I haven't did before. Um, I was at a market and somebody mentioned, hey, do you know how to make poop picks? So I was like, eh, never really thought about making those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my first attempt at making a hoof pick. Um, there are obviously people that have been making them for years. Um, and there's also manufactured hoof picks um, in the market that are standardized. But I'm going to make a hoof pick, or actually a set of hoof picks, out of horseshoe. So my understanding is so the the hoof the hoof pick essentially it basically comes out and into a point pointed end. So that's for scraping at the bottom of a hoof. <laughs> So I'm guessing things and obscure items get stuck up inside a hoof over time. And so that would essentially just clear clear out anything that would make for an uncomfortable walk for an animal. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and get this cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right down the center. That way I can make two different variations. Um, really easy project just from looking at it. Uh, it's just a long paper is all it is. And then you can bend, you can bend the pick in any direction. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm going to make one that's going to be able to pick from this way. Doing a little bit of research, there's two different ways uh, that people like to pick. So it's, it's for it's for cleaning out uh, horse uh, hoof debris. So s stuff gets stuck up inside, kind of up inside these areas. Alright, um, go ahead and heat these up. Put them in. So I'm basically going to make a taper. It's just an elongated taper. Um, I might give it more of a flat end. Um, not not kind of round, but more kind of a flat, like a squished round. Um, so we'll see how these turn out. Should be should be fun to make. doing a little research about what kind of steel horseshoes are made out of. 
and the most part it's really junk steel um, just use really low carbon steel which which is fine Carbon steel has its purposes as well. It's more malleable. It's a lot softer to work with. You can basically is meant to be. It could be worn away. So, all right. So let's go ahead and. various different blacksmiths. Anvil. I found that at an antique shop. It's kind of funny looking. I'm just gonna make a hardy shank for it. <laughs> I don't know. That might be interesting.
rest of it, I'm gonna just keep it on the flat. That way I get a very smooth taper.
this. So this, this would be for the, F, the S shaped version and then the other one I'm going to just bend over and go take that and bend it back over and place in another direction.
it's a good concept. Um, I would imagine that when, they, when you had uh, plenty of these horseshoes laying around that were used up, that they, they would turn them into stuff like this. I would think like in either wars or different things like that. For the horse, the war horses, they probably uh, go ahead and use any of the scrap metal, make stuff like this. I would assume. Um, it's actually a pretty neat concept. say that's a hook. I actually don't know the logistic dimensions that would be the most comfortable, but being that it's my first project on this, and just common sense would say, probably work pretty good. styles of hoof digs. I get a closer look at that. So it's just a standard taper and you bend it over. I think they turned out okay but you know I'll never use these in my life. <laughs> Someone else might use them. <laughs> Uh, now I did finish them w with uh, um, coconut oil, so you you could use any oils to finish them. Um, these wax, but it's going to eventually have to be recoated. Um, because these will rust just like a regular horseshoe over time but as long as it's kept oiled um, as long as they're kept oiled this could last for a very long time all right well thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this um, if you like this content please like and subscribe and see you on the next project I make.